family and welcome back to the Emily Odyssey. My name is Jermango Long and I am a servant of the Most High God. I appreciate you coming along and as always enjoy the journey. Uh, today is what a day. What a day, what a day, what a day. Uh, I can tell you how good the Lord is because I cannot even comprehend all of the things that happened to me within a day. All right. So yesterday ended on a great high because of the wood we're going to be able to potentially get uh, that will save us money down the road for uh, building the rest of our house. Now, so I'm up today and got to go out early, got to go get, get some groceries, got to go do a little shopping. So we go and do all that now. This, from that point on, things went really, really far downhill. But like I say, I guess I don't even notice because I'm, I'm hanging out and I'm thinking about God because I've just been reading his word lately, reading his word, reading his word. Uh, so, yeah, the title of this is What a Day, if I didn't say that. But reading his word over and over and just... Um, grabbing those minute details that I didn't know because I'm uh, still reading through the Apocrypha, uh, through the book of Gasher, uh, and I'm hitting those little pockets, and I know I'll try to speak on that a little bit as I go out and throughout the week, get a little bit more consistent. Uh, but today was, today was a, a tumultuous day. Uh, and, I, and I say that because, you know, this morning I get up to the business, uh, my guys are, you know, stacking the bricks together, putting them on a pallet because we just got the forklift fixed. And I look over to the left and the crusher is pretty much taken apart because it's broken. And I'm like, man, we just got one part fixed. But you know how it is when you don't have brand new equipment and you get older equipment and you fix one thing you break another that's why they always tell you you got something going on in your car just fix that one part because you start doing things that's unnecessary other things will break but uh you know that's just the philosophy from an old mechanic but at the end of the day i'm like come on bro not today like this just broke this whole piece <sighs> so my guys finished uh, stacking the bricks, uh, and then they started, you know, positioning them with the forklift, and I was like, okay, go ahead, put it in the back of the truck, and then I'll drive you guys to where it is. So, we're driving on out. Uh, it, it's not far out of town, but it's a good little bit out of town, so we're just about to arrive, and my, uh, uh, my manager, Kasim, he gets a call. And it's like a lot of talking, a lot of talking. I'm thinking like, well, I didn't hear anything about Matafali. I didn't hear anything about Saruji or the business. So I guess I'm good. As soon as he hangs up the phone, he's telling me that, hey, there's a problem. Somebody's saying you encroached on their land. You know, the land that I just bought. The land that I have paid for and, and done everything I, I thought humanly possible to do. So... He's calling, I mean, like, he has a, a worried look on his face. So I'm like, ah, okay, we'll take care of it when I get back. Say, hey, just have them bring whatever paperwork they have. I'll bring the paperwork that I have, and we'll discuss it. And so I call my bro. Well, he called my bro because Sally is my, my big brother here. Uh, eventually, we'll do an uh, interview with Sally because he has helped me out so much here. And he, he's going to be around all day during this message. So they called Sally and she said, okay, bro, I'm, I'm going to go over there and I'll talk. And because he was there, uh, we all kind of negotiated the deal together. We paid, we shook hands, we had the lawyer. Always make sure you take care of your business with the lawyer, getting the appro uh, appropriate documentation. And, you know, this is what I know coming from America, and this is what my friend Sally made sure to reiterate to me while I was here. Make sure you get the appropriate document documentation. Make sure that everybody's signing. Make sure that once the deal is complete, by the date, you know, sign off, everything is finished. So I didn't worry. 
I just called my wife and told her to, hey, grab all the things so when I come back over here, I can stop through, pick up the information, and take it to him. So needless to say, Sally gets there, he's talking, and they are coming to some type of agreement, uh, but it has nothing to do with me. Because I had the lawyer, because I did what I needed to do, this right now seems like it's over and done. Even the people who were there, they were like, okay, we understand. I don't know what the problem is, but it wasn't on my end. So <laughs> that's two major things this morning. The machine going down, the land dispute. Now I'm driving into town. Uh, and I have my insurance, have my license, and I have a road license sticker on front of the car. Like It's like, you know, three things you need over here. And it's just like, maybe it slipped my mind. So we get pulled over by the police, and guess what? Your road license is expired. Oh, this is September. It expired April. Got me. So I'm stopped on the side of the road, I'm talking to the police officers, and we are saying, okay, hey, well, what, what do we need to do? I said, ah, hold on one second. Let me, call my, let me call my big brother, Sally. I call Sally, he gets on the phone with the police officers, he negotiates whatever he needs to negotiate for me. They let me go on and go, because it's, it's an honest mistake. But, you know, these these are the days that, you know, uh, the devil tests you and he comes to you uh, trying to catch you at a weak point. But knowing God, it keeps me on such a high note. These things just kind of get brushed off. So needless to say, I'm on my way because I have to take some things my uh, wife has purchased because her lovely sisters in America would like some of these items so we're trying to get those to the people that they need to get to so they can get back to America because hey it's the easiest thing to do catch somebody going so as we continue on our way no problems we'll get the uh, road license updated tomorrow and you may hear the prayer in the background starting so they're praying here I've been praying all day because it is much needed we get into town, do everything we got to do, and we're coming back home. I was like, hey, let's get back home. My road license is expired. My driver's license is not expired. My insurance is not expired, but my road license is. So let me get my butt back home so we can just kind of relax and enjoy the rest of the day. Plus, we had some guys coming to deliver some water. On the way home, <sighs> thank God. That's why it, it don't matter what happens. All the way home, I need some butter. So we're driving. We're getting ready to turn in. Oh, somebody hits the back of the car. Man, I can't make this stuff up because all of this happened in one day. Two day, later. So somebody runs into the back of the car. Now, I'm upset, and I, I'm just showing it on my face. I'm not angry. I'm not yelling. What I do, not one, not two, but three times I call, hey, Sally, somebody just ran into the back of me, bro. Please come. Their car is messed up. My car, uh, I, it wasn't even, it had a couple of little scratches on it. They hit me good, but we were turning. We were, we, I had the blinker on. I'm a blinker. I hit my blinker and I'm turning, slowing down, pumping the brakes, right into the back of me. And we're sitting there and people coming across the street and you know, it is what it is. It's like, man, this day, you know, just thinking about all the things, it's like, dang, it's been a, it's been a long day. But you know, at the end of the day, my bro Sally was right now, he's going with them so that they can do whatever they need to do to get their car uh, up to speed. Now, I know I had my blinker on. I know I slowed down. I know I was turning into a spot, but all of the conflict, 
Sally is a great negotiator. He just said, hey, look, let's figure out this a little bit later. You guys come with me. We'll go. We'll get an estimate for your car. We'll talk it over. They have cameras. We'll look at the cameras. We'll see who is at fault, and we'll do what we do. So, family, I ain't going to even lie. Like, I'm just kind of getting home. The water just got delivered, and it's just been like, come on, man. Really? It's been this type of day. But all I can think of is, man, I've been reading about God and it's been good. I know it sounds crazy. I know it sounds crazy. But I'm okay. My wife that was riding with me is okay. My kids wasn't in the car. Thanks to the Most High God for all that favor. The favor of having the paperwork for my house. The favor of not totaling my car. The favor of not being injured. Man, I could be 10 times more upset today. But it won't get me anywhere. And that will just allow the devil to get that one more up on me. But he ain't going to get there today. And he ain't going to get there tomorrow. And he ain't going to get that the day after tomorrow. So, in Swahili, he ain't going to get that leo, kesho, kesho kucho. But, family, that's one day. Give me some of your worst days. Give me some of the things that has happened to you in one day that's been the worst day. And it does not compare to what God went through. To what his son Isa, Jesus, Yahweh, he went through for, for me. So, family, as always, I appreciate you coming along, and as always, enjoy the journey.